It's just before <coughs> uh, minutes coming out in two o'clock. E for marketwizards.com and emailingwizard.com, reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose if you're playing this game. Quick review here's our five minute chart holding. <clears throat> Gonna put a little deeper chart on as well. Take a peek at that. 10 minutes still holding. Multiple gap situation still. <clears throat> Market has not disappointed us with the migration back up to test that 91. And a reminder, we never <clears throat> take a position unless it's something like an option or if you're a gunslinger, that's gambling in my opinion. Head of news. Uh, certainly, if you're a trader, that's a different story. You're usually going to wait and you're going to let it tip its hand and you're going to let it do what it's going to do. And then react. And usually it's action, then reaction, and then action. Still the same formation that we had talked about earlier. But we can adjust and say, okay, I guess that's resistance now. And this evidently is our fighting box. And this is our support box based on the current price. And obviously a little bit deeper. We said we thought we were spending a lot of time in here in this yellow box and certainly that's been true. And a predictive model, same, same idea inside this yellow circle, this box where the yellow circle is. This market has not disappointed our analysis that we will try to get to this 90.75, 91 area. And that's the flipper. Above going alongside and below coming this way. And we still have all of yesterday's range that we can trade within. And retest up here. <clears throat> Shorts have gotten used to their way. <clears throat> the last swings here and then today, got to break that mentality of just short, short, short. You got to think about a two-way action now. Ready to, ready to rock and roll. Okay, so we've marked the scene of the crime as uh, 90 and a quarter. That was the open of this hour we've got the double top zone right now that's holding so there's a test for resistance and then obviously we're still in a range type trade and certainly i'm going to use this yellow box and assume this is the range that needs to be broken if we take this out then obviously it can test up here at that 93 to 95 zone but for now this is a <clears throat> Double top. At some point, it might become a third time through trade. And anybody that is shorting is looking, obviously, for nibble back into the into the range type trade. So nothing has really changed from before. Other than this is holding as resistance, and obviously, <clears throat> I believe the longs are going to have to try to defend this 85, push, and come out the top. And if they can't do that, that tells us they're not as strong as they think they are. And this is the type of trade that will confuse traders <clears throat> for the first five or ten minutes, and then usually you'll get a directional trade. So for now, all we know is we're coming back into that magnet area we'd said was 86 and a half, 87. And I believe you can't overstay short side. Just too muddy right now. Anybody that's trading, you want to grab a couple of points, get on the scoreboard. So here's your double top. 
still top of the pipe, trying to hold, and obviously back in here, the bottom of yesterday's pipe. So what we know is we've spent a lot of time in this range today, and that's what we've got so far is still range type trade. And in looking at this formation, we've got a little trend line, uptrend line that is a neckline right now. It'll be somewhat important. And keep an eye on NASDAQ, not much happening over there either. So double top, <clears throat> and all we know is we're inside this range. So theoretically, the best thing we can do is go look at our DH. Because this range is also very important. And typically this is a zone that <clears throat> I think needs to be protected by the boys or else we're going lower. And if you're <clears throat> if you were looking at your 30 minute Globex chart. can see where we held this morning, <clears throat> got the double up here and then coming back down into the middle. And we said the magnet was 86 and a half. So anybody that's got a little short side trade going on, <clears throat> all we know is we have tested resistance, it's held. And we've come right back down towards that middle. So this would be considered a, a scalp type, type trade. And now this is where trailers do the work. Get your first couple of points and obviously coming down <clears throat> below that 88. Trying to get to the uh, 86 and a half, 87 area. Scalp type trade. Trend has been up. And this is a pullback, a contra against that. And here's the proportion, the doubles up here, and then coming back towards the middle trade. And our support we'd said earlier down here. This would be the gap area down here. So still range type trading is all we've got. And this is that 10 minute chart we said we wanted to take a look at because give us a little bit bigger perspective, RTH. Little head fake and then <clears throat> pull back into the range. Great trade if you took a scalp short. 86.5 hit. Hello, good fortune. I said, let's think about, in the room, let's think about this 85 as supportive. Shorts have to bust this zone. So payday coming up right into here. And we can see that we're still in this, 91 and a half area resistance and is 85 just posted to our traders 
Make sure you paid by 85, because I'm looking at this as our current range right now that needs to be resolved. And we can see we're still in this box without anything on it, just looking at the pure bars. Still in that range that we had talked about earlier. <clears throat> no appreciable move in either direction, just staying inside that box. We can stay in this box for 10 years and it's still gonna be the same idea. Range trading until we get a breakout on either side. And we've suggested that the edges were the better <clears throat> ideas for the trades. So I'm giving a little bit of an edge to the longs by saying, make sure you're paid by 85. We said the same thing down here earlier. Make sure you're paid by 82s, even though the angel is way back here at 80. Okay, and, and theoretically, <clears throat> this chart will contain all the information we need. This is a summation of all of those other charts. This is a summation of all of the things that we know looking at 12 different charts. Where our current resistance zone is, current support zone, current middle. And as such, we've just <clears throat> discussed with the traders in our room, if you got two points out of this mess right now, lock it. Name of the game is get your VIG. And our bias today was try to get to this 91 zone, tad higher, but for sure, try to get back to 91, 90, 75. Using this idea of obviously the overnight low for support and probably this 82 to 83 as support and range trade it. And so far, the biggest disappointment is no big new, no big move from the news. Got this idea right to make sure you're paid by 85s and got this idea right to make sure you're paid by that 91. Now we're gonna be wrong on at, at one point, obviously, one side's going to win and be stronger than the other. And without trying to predict that, what we're really trying to do is, is say, can we take something out of the range as it's moving? And in this predictive range, we can see this yellow circle. This is where we started for news saying, let's trade this first. Not thinking about breakout, breakdown, range trading it. This, this uh, widget and this predictive model give us an edge. Because it gives structure to something that otherwise you might not see. Your mind might be looking way up here for now. Way down in here, doesn't matter. In, in between is where the action is. This is where, you know, a, a boxer would be standing on the corner, jabbing and jabbing, never making contact. And this is where he gets in close enough to actually hit and be hit. If you want to trade, that's what you have to do. And as the market moves to different locations and does that, you've got to be willing to do that. Broke. Okay, fine, we're up here. Still got that going on. <clears throat> up here, we're fighting. Whoops, we broke. Came all the way down, bounce, second bounce, here we go, and bounce up. 
So far, very neutral. 86 and a half is the magnet. When you know your magnet, <clears throat> gives you an idea of what you want to use for potential targets and resistance areas when you get there. And you don't want to overstay. If you're coming from the top, you got to break it and keep coming. If you're on the bottom, getting through it, and you pull back, you still need to hold that zone if you want higher. And in this chop fest, we can see on the monthly scale how this big yellow circle has contained the price for a lot of today's trading so far. And the shorts have defended their turf, but so have the longs. And we're remembering scene of the crime, 90 and a quarter. And usually we want to give it a little time for a directional move. And so far we've got not quite 30 minutes for a directional move. But usually one side gets a turn and then the other side gets a turn. So the shorts definitely need to press this right now or they're going to lose their edge. So we're going to say, oh, I guess they're not as strong as they think. So let's take it the other way. That's trading. And very subdued range. Here is our angel right here, 85 and a half. That's one of the reasons we suggested paid by 85s. And on the other side, we've got <clears throat> this 89 has set up as a demon. And so we're range bound right now. <clears throat> Prior demon was much lower. I don't like when when the demons are are that tight and we come all the way back up to the top. It's not a very effective setup for our TH angels and demons. <clears throat> this one here certainly was much more appropriate. And we can see that 8475, 85 is the middle of our angel and demon. So knocked out stops, Got a couple of turtles saying, okay, we're going, and we brought it right back down into the range. So neither side overly satisfied right now. I've got 230. Theoretically, if shorts cannot press this and start to make any meaningful progress, then I think probably the bots will say, let's try the other side. Uh, very tight range. Uh, let's make a notation too of the scene of the crime. And here's the NQ and I'm looking at this um, chart right here, which is obviously a 30 minute chart. Here's your gap zone right down here just below. And realistically, timing wise, if the shorts can't get this done now and say the next five to 10 minutes, um, you're going you're gonna to assume they don't have the firepower. So I'm looking at the NQ. We've had a low to high and a pullback, right? That, that we can certainly see. And so bottom line, this 7,600 seems to be a key right now in this NQ trade. So keep an eye on that at the same time, not because we're trading it, but because we're kind of seeing 
<clears throat> if there are any clues from, from this type of a trade. This, this came back almost to the double top and still holding, you know, relatively stronger than the um, SP. in really very, very minimal. Sometimes we have some pretty good size breakouts. We've had really nothing to speak of and normally we give a little time in a directional move, which this was, right? All black bar, 30 minute bar. But after about 30 minutes, you have to say, is there anything left? So we know that's still resistance, still broken. And we know that's still support, and we know that we're just range trading. So tough, tough uh, day for anybody who wanted a big move. And this is where your hit and run ideas work until they don't. All right, taking a look at another type of chart, the order flow. You note how this 85 has held. Back here, these 83s, 82s have held. <clears throat> we've got a double top that's formed, obviously, and then we've got a higher low here. And we've bounced. We said make sure you paid by 85s. We've bounced. We've come through the middle area here, and then obviously not quite back to that 90 and a quarter scene of the crime. But we can see where the predominance of this range is right here plus or minus one level. So these charts, obviously the more you study these, the better you'll get at reading these. And that was two levels. And here's your one level line right there. And we're gonna do the opposite here now. There's your one. Oops. And obviously <clears throat> here's our two, never did quite get there. So we can see the skew has been up today, really a little bit more stretch to the upside. And obviously <clears throat> this chart is telling us that this um, 87, 75, 88 area is, is obviously very important today. This is a type of the market that will probably chop around and then maybe after hours <laughs> do its move without traders. Very frustrating for both sides wanting a big move. Nobody getting what they want yet. Sometimes you can fine tune the charts. This is an eight minute chart, kind of between the fives and the tens. So far, just looking at a chart like that, it tells me we have not spent a whole lot of time underneath the rain line. And the market is still chopping and trying to get up. And this will be a third time through trade at one point if we get through here. Reminder, 90 and a quarter scene of the crime. Market has been <clears throat> very stubborn today to make a move in either direction. I thought we would get a, <clears throat> we'd break these highs this afternoon on news <clears throat> ju just because they can. Try to bump a few stops. Not yet. And we can see the idea of the green circle holding. Very little penetration below it. Obviously we held here this morning. At this bust at 84. And we're still holding the top of the pipe. So very challenging 
type of trade for either side. And it's one that you don't knock your brains out. If you get a couple points out of it, you do. And if not, okay, you know. <laughs> Usually you save a few what we call powder for these type of trades, but has not materialized into anything meaningful. Just a few ideas to pass along to you guys.